Hi, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, we are going to take a look very briefly about WordPress 3.4 Beta 1 version, which was released not so long time ago. So, first step is you're going to this page and you're going to read this page um, about new features of this uh, f beta versions and so many things important here. And the most important is this uh, bold font that they actually don't recommend anyone to run this beta version on a production site or live blog. So I also don't recommend you to install it in your current blog, but I always uh, recommend to test it on your local machine or offline in your computer. You can check out my other tutorial, which is installing WordPress online operating system or Windows 7 using RAM server. And to download the beta version, you can click on this link and then download it in your computer and then install it in your local machines. I've done it already in my um, computer, so this is it. And I name it as demo of my blog. And actually, you can see it here on your dashboard that you are using this version or if you scroll down on the right bottom of your screen you can also see that you are using development version so actually now what is new about it uh, here on this page you will see that there is theme customers customizer with previewer in your uh, blog so including the these things and now if we go back to our demo blog and visit our site, you will not see it here, even on uh, my admin bar. And this is actually what I write in my blog post that it should have the customized link over here. So we don't have to go to dashboard uh, themes. So themes and then we can access it. And you see now I'm go back to my dashboard and the theme. And this button is actually what I mean or what uh, the new feature is. So theme customization uh, with previewer. So if you click on that link, customize, and you will see now we have a very nice uh, live preview in your current theme. So there are two buttons over here. Actually, you can collapse that and you see now it's hidden and then you can click that again to show to customize uh, your theme. And you can also go back to your uh, manage theme. So basically you have to go to your dashboard and go to appearance and themes to see this customize option. And now we go back again to customize the theme. You see there is a name of the theme and the creator of the theme. And then here you can see site title and tagline and you can collapse this button and then you will see your site title. And for example, now I'm going to change it not as demo my of my blog, but I just delete the demo word. And you see now the demo word is gone. And the tagline, as you can see now, I am having just another WordPress site. And if I uh, change it here, some tagline of my blog, now it will uh, display as what I type. And then I collapse it again. And the header, you can have uh, many customization as well, like display or uh, hide the text and change the text color of your header. For example, now I'm going to choose it as red. You see now it changed to red color. And then uh, you can also change your image of the header. I'm going to click change image and uh, because I haven't uploaded uh, any images, I'm going to choose included, the default theme. So I'm going to choose this uh, pine cone. So now it's change and then collapse it again to hide. And then the background color by default it's white. And I wish there was a restore button over here, but uh, maybe it will be included sometimes. And the background color, I don't want it to be white, but I want to be green, for example, like this. And hide again. And the navigations, because we don't have any menu, uh, so it's still empty. And you can check out my other tutorial, which is creating drop down menu and you will see um, another new menu here. And you can also choose static front page here. By default, it's showing your latest post. And to change this, you can actually go to your uh, dashboard and then to settings and go to readings uh, settings over there.
but because I haven't created any pages yet on my dashboard, so I'm not going to uh, discuss about this. So that's basically is about this uh, customizer and preview the new feature of WordPress uh, 3.4 beta version. And don't forget, after you done all the modification and you are happy with it, you can hit save button. And now you go to dashboard again and then take a look at your modification. So that's all guys. Thank you for watching and take care of yourself. Goodbye.